Okay, today I'm going to repair this Marantz uh, PM64 integrated amplifier. I don't know the status on this amplifier, so I'm going to do the test first. Uh, let me turn on the power. Okay, the dim bolt is the dim and dumb. You can hear a little click, so that's been the power amplifier is okay. And let me turn on the music. How do you hook up the CD player? Take a look inside and see what's the problem. Okay, I hook up the speaker output to the scope here, and the signal still uh, goes to the uh, AUX. Let me turn on the power. Okay. Oh, and if I seems working. Okay, this warning comes on. Okay. No signal. Or oh, very little signal in the right channel. And I turn the parents control here. This is left channel. All oh, wait to the left. And the right channel. The signal. Oh, left channel's gone, but to an old way channel. Okay, I hook up the signal AUX input right here. The signal is the warning control area here before uh, the signal goes to this uh, preamp area. See, make sure the function is working. So, I already hooked up the scope, and this is the only control we can see. So, if I turn it down, both can turn it down. So, the control is okay, and this appearance control here. Yeah. So, you can see that channel working. And then um, to the right channel, working. To check the pre-amplifier, I need to know the IC, uh, where the input and output are. And you can see the input is 1, and also 15. And the output uh, left channel is a 6 and 5. And the right channel is a 10 and 11. So we can go back to the uh, PCP and find out is it working or not. This is for the uh, preamp uh, section there. Okay, to check the preamp file, we can measure this for the uh, left channel input. And you can see. There's a signal come in and there's a signal come out. So the channel is okay. Okay. Then we can check the right channel. The signal come in here. Uh, and also this output here. and also the output here too so we can see the IC uh, 
the pre-amplifier section is okay. They have output from both uh, channels. So the last thing I check is uh, put the uh, scope uh, before the speaker, which is um, the input of the uh, relay. And you can see the scope shows okay. So if there are no output on the speaker, then that means uh, the problem is on the relay. So I think there's a problem there. So we find the problem is in this uh, relay here. So I'm going to do some cleaning here. You can open up. And maybe there's a contact here. There's a problem there. So I'm going to clean off the contact here. After I clean the uh, speaker relay, I'm going to do a test right now. So let me turn on the power. Okay, power's on. Speaker relay is on. Okay, let me turn on the volume. Okay, the other thing I want to do is do the uh, bias adjustment. So right now I already hooked up the test point uh, here. And I believe it's called TP3 and 4 here. It's for the right channel. And right now it's a zero. Let me turn on the power. Okay. And it's supposed to go to 8.8. .8. So up to a couple of minutes, it shows 24.4 right now. So right now I need to do adjustment. Let me get a screwdriver. So right now it's still show 25 right now. So I just need to adjust this point here. Okay, let me turn it. On the left channel bias, I hook up uh, the test point uh, there and also the other end right here. So let's do it right now. Shoot on the 8.3 and the adjustments right here. So 
So we can turn this in to 8.8. .8. 